Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorials on dashboard and special charts. My name is Sam Sinemilike and today we are going to be looking at some special charts. To create these special charts, we are going to be looking at some types of uh, targets. You know, you, we use uh, special charts to display performance and progress. Okay, so there are two categories of targets that I have enumerated here. First is the superable or those ones that are exceedable. And then the second one is the insuperable. Those ones you cannot exceed. Now for the superable one, those ones that can be exceeded, for example, we have sales targets, we have screening targets, we have event attendance, and so on and so forth. The features about these ones is that if a sales target is set, a very ambi uh, ambitious uh, rep can overshoot that. Okay, so you can see somebody performing over 100% of its target. So these, these ones are superior or exceedable targets. The same thing with screening. You may set out to test uh, 500 persons and then eventually you have more than 2,000 persons appearing for the test. If you have enough test kits, you go ahead and test them. So you can actually exceed that. Event attendance, you may decide to invite only 100 persons and then at the end, 150 will attend. Now, these ones are not dependent on anything. Okay, they are independent or independable. They are not influenced or controlled by any other parameters okay so we'll be looking at some of the special charts that we can use to display such performances now on the other side we have the insuperable or unexceedable targets those targets are dependable targets they are dependable and dependent on certain parameters take for instance you may decide to roll out a a, a program and then some people came on board to test, for instance. Now you tested 50 and 20 persons were positive, for instance. Now you want to look at the percentage of people enrolled. You cannot enroll more than 20 that tested positive. So your target is dependent on a factor. It is set, it is fixed. Okay, so there are also special charts for this kind of targets. In this video, we'll be looking at four different types of special charts. So over here, I have the speedometer chart, the special chart. Okay, so you can see as the figures are changing, we have different performances, which cannot exceed 100. We have the progress chart, this is chart number two, where we also see that this cannot exceed 100%. The third one is the thermometer um, chart, where you can also not exceed that, you cannot exceed 100%. Another version of this is here, this where for all the different types of uh, parameters and you are considering one progress chart is displaying for every one of them. Here you see this PM density. this is their specific parameters. Now, the other one that um, we can use when they are exceeding, you can exceed your target. These are the two that we'll be discussing <coughs> in this video. Okay, so we have this. Let me, uh, if I am to change any of these figures, now you will see they are, they will change. For instance, here you see targets you have invited and those are actually uh, invited you see that uh, the green is the invited the plain is the target for mph we didn't reach the target whereas for mba we surpassed it mpa we surpassed it bfan we surpassed it and so on and so forth this and this are actually the same but presented in different uh, ways so in this video, we'll be discussing how to set up these charts from the scratch. Follow me along.
Now, I have uh, uh, a data range here that we'll be using to demonstrate these types of targets and um, their special charts. We have actually used one scenario that can give us these two types of charts. Over here, we have an organization that has a target to enroll certain number of students into these different courses. So one, one, two, three, four, there are five different courses. And uh, the organization set target for each of these courses. Say, go ahead and invite 500 students to enroll into each of these courses. Get them admitted. That was it, the instruction. Okay, so um, what they did was at the end of the whole exercise, these were the data. Now, for MPH, 350 candidates were invited, and so on and so forth for the rest of the courses. Then, at the end of the invitation, these are the number of the respective, uh, I mean, the number of candidates that registered for the respective courses. So, you will see that um, the target was set. Some exceeded the target like you can see like 732 exceeds 500 978 exceeds 500 and so on and so forth so here we see an exceedable target taking place however for registration you cannot register more than the people you have invited okay so from this part, portion of the uh, data range we have colored this red or pink Okay, to let us know that this area they are not the kind of targets that you can exceed because registration is dependable on the number of people invited okay so 320 got registered out of 350 so we'll be able to look at that the same thing as this this also the number of patients uh, the number of candidates that paid is also dependent on the number of people that registered and then when you come to admission, the number of people who were admitted are also dependent on the number of people that paid. Okay, so we would like to work with, uh, in percentages. Okay, so in getting our percentages, we really need to create another data uh, range, in which case we now need to find out the percentage invited. For here, it's simply the invited over the target by 100. Okay, so for the registration, is the number of people who registered over the invited okay so we got 91 and so on and so forth however this may take us time but we know that we have discovered uh, another very uh, good way of doing this using pivot table so um, if you want to be conversant with how to use pivot table to do this if you use pivot table you will not have need to create another another table you may not even have need to distort this. The pivot table you have created will have all this inside. All right, so we are going to create a new sheet. We're going to insert a new sheet and then come up with this data and see how we can work around all the respective special charts. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to insert a new worksheet pasting this here right now now i am going to insert pivot table or nv i'm going to use it i'm pasting it right here so that i can walk around so what i need quickly is my my courses yeah, target. then let me just go here sorry just come here do my calculated field so the first thing i'm going to look at is the percentage target okay Let's say um, invite, invite, invite. Okay. So, how am I going to define that? This invite, sorry. This invite is actually um, the number of uh, invited over the target of invitees so i modify this 
in the next thing I'm going to look at is number of registration. Okay, registration achievement. Sorry, again. So I need to registration achievement. I need to Those who registered, which is my registration, over those who we are invited. The next one is uh, after registration, those who paid. So, paid um, achievement. I'm going to change this out. Paid achievement. So, this is defined as those who paid over those who registered. The next one is admission, admission, achievement. Okay. The reason I'm not using exact percentage achievement is because I'm going to change the letter and it shouldn't appear twice. So admission, achievement is um, those admitted over those who paid. Have all this uh, is to change these things to percentage. Change all these things to percentage. So I need to do this one by one. one, by one. So for some, um, if we see anywhere that we are scoring more than hundred percent. There is an error. Okay, so um, already I'm seeing MBBS. Okay, so we are going to look at that and see what happened. Um, okay, so the last one is this number format percentage. Great. Now let's look at this data. We, are, we ought not to see uh, registration. This is where we are expected to see to get more than hundred percent. Okay, but here. Let's see for the MBBS over here. MBBS, let's see for registration. Sorry, this is my MBBS here. Okay, so we are right. We cannot register 464 when only 246 were invited. Okay, so let's just amend this. Let's say this is 498. Okay, so here. Anyway, we get less than 100% or more than 100%. Here is okay, so that's the only place. Now, to effect this, let's just go to let's click here, go to analyze, go to refresh. The moment we do this, this rectifies. So, I need to take we need. So, let's go ahead and start to insert our special charts okay so i need to disable this so that it doesn't occupy my space and for here let me see i need to uh yes my home i need to wrap it so that when i bring it like this i can create space over here and the figures are the text are right so the content of the cell okay, something like this great Okay, so I need to begin to do my special chart right now. And um, the first one is the superior one. Those ones that you know you can surpass. Okay, so let me just use this. And, um, okay, let's see if we can use this to insert this right Okay, and then um, courses, not courses. Um, I'm going to remove this uh, sum of. I need to. Well, we are interested in achievement. Some of invite achievement. Okay. Let me remove this field. Let me also remove this field. Let me also remove this field. 
all right so this is where we are and um, by the way we ought to have included let me include i need the target okay so let me activate this back get my target there's my target 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 invites so put it here over there target invites okay so um you can see that uh, now that we have brought in our target it has dwarfed the achievements the reason is because the targets are in numbers like you can see there are 500 500 while the other one are in percentages okay so actually this target are supposed to be one one hundred against this okay so what we need to do is uh, we need to go back and change this to reflect 100 percent so that we compare b farm we see that it performed 160 percent over 100 and so on and so forth okay so we need to get back to this point calculated field and um, we now need to introduce a new parameter by the way let me let us know that uh, we ought to have made this 100 percent okay we ought to have made this 100 percent or all of them use all of them in numbers because we have gone far with this so we just need to see how we can continue rather than going back and then still have, uh, amend it in the process so i am going to introduce a new calculated field and um, let's say it's our target right target let's say we're using the target in percentage okay, something like this such that these ones now will turn to 100 percent we now compare them with this you will no longer be dwarfed okay so this is going to give us the target invite target invite divided by target invite so that we have one okay this good so we have one right now and so we now convert this now to number format get our this so we now have 100 okay so we are not going to plot this and this so let me move some of target invite some of So let's see how our this thing we, we we have we have arrived at what we are looking for. So I need to deactivate this to create space for myself. Okay, so let me now begin to work on this. Okay, so our the sum of invite achievement is blue. So okay, fair enough. Let me clean up this. Let's just clean up, remove all, hide all of them. Okay, and then. Um, let's right uh, right click this this is our target i need to place this now on the secondary axis okay sorry yes we can come over here and put it here in secondary axis okay so having done that let's see what we can do here uh, 100 percent now then let's shift this. Let's shift it again. Okay, so what we have done right now is that um, we have introduced a holo inside the achievement. Okay, so um, let's go ahead to change the color. Since our target is the one that is moving, Actually, we ought not to win. This is the one that we're supposed to do. So let's undo. Okay. So let's choose this one. Then uh, put it inside like, like that. Okay. Then um, what do we do? What do we do? Let's change the color. Let's remove no fill. Um, let's put uh, in terms of the line. Let's give a solid line. Now let's use green. 
Okay, so I'm going to use green for the line. Let's use this green for the line. And uh, for that line, I think let's make it bigger. Let's put, let's increase the point so that it can be very, very clear. And then right inside this one, which is our achievement, let's give it as, um, where is my fill? Let's give it a solid fill and uh, let's give it green. All right, so we have come to this point now and um, when we change the figures, you see that uh, they will also change. Okay, so here we have the targets. So uh, we're enclosing the performance. Now, you would notice there are two axes here. This is the secondary and uh, it's good and they are not of the same measurement so we need to fix that now let's look at our let's look at our our target and let's get this so that i can see my listing clearly all right so we can see that the b farm achievement this is a achievement b farm for instance is 160 you can see b farm achievement which is here is looking at this axis whereas the target is looking at this okay so if we don't correct this axis it is misleading in the actual sense b farm overshot but if you look at this this seems to be under 80 whereas it's over this because that is because when we transform the uh, achievement we placed it on the secondary axis so this is the secondary axis right now it's taking its values from here all right so we need to synchronize it so that both the target and the achievement will use the same axis so let's see uh, for our secondary axis the minimum is 70 the maximum is 190 who is scoring this 190 here mph okay so this is our secondary here so we click this axis come over here the minimum is zero and uh, the maximum the maximum is what for secondary axis here is let's say two we can use two rather than 2.5 right so um, let's get this let's right, so we now do the same thing over here make it two good so we can see that they are all in the same axis right now they have the same uh, You will now see that see the B farm is 160, uh, MPH is over 100 and something. So we have adjusted for that. So this is one way that we can. So this is one way that you can present your chart. You see that all this, this is our target. They are, at, they are stable at 100. So we can go ahead and put our label, here's my data label, over there. Okay. So you see that we only selected the achievement. This is 100%, this is 70%, this is 196%. So, for those targets that are exceedable, this is one way that you can do this. Another way, again, that we can do this is, this is what we are looking at, right? So, I'm going to insert another, uh, this thing here. Let me still use this, okay? However, right now, I'm going to, okay, let me still clean this area. Let me hide all of them. So right now, I'm going to change the series. 
So I'm going to right click, I'm going to change my series chart. Now I want to place my uh, target. Let's put it up. Sorry, not sorry. I want to change it to line with markers. Okay, so this is the target. The target is set. So we'll be able to see anyone that surpasses this. We know that like these ones, we see these ones are surpassed, this one's here to surpass, and so on and so forth. Otherwise, we might decide to still leave this one and then choose the other one. Whichever one you want, your this thing can be going up while this can just be stable. So let's go ahead with this. Now I'm going to walk through this this line, especially I'm going to come over here and formatting my data series. What I have selected is the line with markers. So let's deal with the marker options. I'm going to use, uh, sorry, inbuilt. I choose inbuilt. I'm going to choose something like this. I'm going to increase this, let's say 20 or 30. Okay. okay. So we can use 25, any number that you want. Okay. So um, what color do we want? Let's get it, give it a solid feel. What contrasting uh, colors do we need? What contrasting colors do we need? This is actually your, your own choice. Okay, so assuming we use this. All right, so now this line, there are still lines in between here. I want to take them away. All right, so I go back to my line. I'm selecting this line. I say no line. So I have removed the lines. So this is another simple way of representing your chart so for my legend i want to take it to the bottom again so that i can create space over here and um, so let me just remove my axis i don't want them uh, primary axis i don't want them sorry i want my primary i mean the vertical one i want the vertical one off so that i can put my labels data labels okay let's see However, I don't want the data label for uh, the red ones, which are, which are 100. They are all the same. Like it doesn't cluster. Right. So this is another way we can present what we have just done here. So this. There is something I want to tell us about a graph like this when we are done. I want this place to be very, very free. I don't want this. Now, see what's going to happen. If I hide this, if I decide to hide this, see what's going to happen to the graph? Hide. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I think uh, this one, because we are using um, pivot table. Okay, the pivot table is still there. It didn't distort. Anyway, so let's uh, need to unhide this. Again, let me unhide this. All right, so this is how we do the targets that are exceedable. In the next video, we are going to uh, look at we are going to look at the ones that you cannot exceed. It's maximum hundred. See you in the next video. So um, we are going to be looking at um, the other types of targets where they are dependable on some parameters and so cannot exceed 100%. Okay, so we are looking at our registration. Let's see the percentage of the re of our registration performance, the percentage that paid, and the percentage that were actually admitted. All right, so um, I'm still going to use this. You remember that we have done the percentages in our pivot table. So let me activate my pivot table panel again. And uh, this time around, I am going to uh, remove all this. And, uh, we have our paid, let me see, paid achievement is here. Good. Then the other uh, admission achievement is here. Good. And then. Um, uh, uh, this is disturbing. So, so sorry. Um, we've made a mistake. 
what we did here are being distorted. All right, so let's see if we can. Okay. All right, so when you're working with pivot tables, you need to create additional pivot tables to make, if you want to retain the chart, the previous one, Since we want to retain this, we are going to either duplicate this or we create a new one. So, remember we said this because it's 100%. We need these are the performances. This is 100%. So, um, we are going to now copy this. It now I drop it over here. So right now this is not connected. So this chart is not connected. So since I've selected this one, I'm working with this. If I remove this, it's not going to affect it. It's not going to affect it. So let's go back to what we were doing. We need to bring in our achievements over here. Registration, paid, and admission. Registration. This is my admission. Paid achievement. Uh, admission. Registration. Achievements. Good. So let's still also wrap here so that when we are conserving space, we'll still be seeing all our headers. Okay. So, um, I need to change this to percentages. Okay, I need to change this to percentages. I need to change this to percentages. Okay. So, we are done. We can see that none of them exceed 100, so that is how it's supposed to be. We have three uh, special charts to use this, this kind of targets that are dependable and not exceed 100%. You cannot surpass them. So like we mentioned, we'll be using a speedometer gauge. We're going to use a progress chart and then thermometer. However, in this video, we are going to demonstrate two. We have demonstrated uh, um, speedometer in a previous video. So um, we may we may recommend you to go and view that um, video. So we will be looking at speedometer, um, progress chart, and thermometer. Okay. So um, for uh, I need to let me let me deactivate this to create more space in my field. Right. So here I want to do the progress chart. And uh, progress chart, I will require donut chart. I actually need the two of the donut charts, so I'm going to use this. Let me now pick my data. Okay, so the other one. First of all, I need to make this. 20 places. I might decide to make only 10. I might decide to make 20. If I make 20, that means each slice will represent 5 units because the entire unit is 100. So, let me set this as 1, 2, 3, 
okay we are using 60 or 60 so um this is good and because we are using pivot table this should be enough okay once we do this we can actually link it so that you if we choose b farm b farm this will be displaying b farm if we choose mba it will display mba all right so um what else do we need to do here before we all right so let's just go ahead and insert another one okay so i'm going to select another data this time around the name is going to be B farm. Now this B farm is on 19th row and on the A column. I have a reason for making that reference. We are going to be using a slicer to connect them. So this is B farm. Okay. Um, we ought to have done something. We ought to have done something. Okay. So let me exit here. Yeah. so here right now let me bring back um, I need to remove one of these things let's work on achievements here and um, I'm going to remove uh, registration and paid registration and paid good so let me deactivate this again now I am going to for some reason, I'm going to I'm going to do this. Yeah, let me put ink. Good. So here now. So here, I need to have what I call dummy value, dummy score. This is the risk score. This is my performance. Performance. Okay, so my dummy performance is going to give me equals to one minus this value here. Now uh, it, it may give us uh, some issues when artificial acuity, so that uh, we need to have numbers here. So I am going to. Now I am going to give this, let's say, 80. So 20 there. I can get 76. So there. Later we will uh, link it back to this. I really need a number here so that I can work around what I want to work. So here, right now, um, this kind of link. Now let's see if it's going to work. So here. I have and here, like I said, I've done that before. Let's see. Okay, so um, now we need to change. Go to our. Um, let's put it on the second pay axis. Okay. So the reason I did this here was I needed to get this twenty so that. I this is my dummy. The actual value is this blue side, which is 80%. And I cannot do that here. I cannot change the figure here. Even if I get this over here, I cannot um, change this value so that this value will become more than zero. I can't change any figure that is already in the pivot table. If I want to change the figure, I need to go to the original source change it and then update so because we need to do this i had to create this there so this is now what i need for this particular one remember this is our secondary i'm going to say no field is now this sorry no field is now displaying the one that is in the primary axis okay so i also don't want lines no borders sorry okay yeah, no border and uh, for the other one now, this one, sometimes you need to click outside to click it back, then you select it, great. So, 
I need to come over here and I need solid feel for it. And the solid feel I need is white. And I need it, I need to apply transparency. Let's say, see, you can just be increasing until you get what you want. Okay, so let's say we use 20, 25, or so. So we are good to go with this. All right, so uh, this is what we have. Now, see what's going to happen. I need to get this outside the pivot table, like I said, because I cannot change any figure here. But here, if I change this to 67, see what's going to happen? It has changed. Okay? If I change this to um, 89, it's going to close up. So this is how to make your progress change. And the next thing we need to do is, let's see if we can make this transparent. No fill. So let's get our uh, some other works, text works and, and structures that we need to do. So here, let me choose this. And uh, I'm going to choose this X. Uh, is here nine percent yeah let me increase this let me use a, a, any kind of uh, what about this you are free to choose any one you want the one that gives you uh, what you want really no fast and hard trick but it's so let me just go here and, uh, this shape no shape uh, shape feel and then outline I want to remove the outline so having done that let me bring it inside here All right, so that um, let me see you can can the hundred enter yes let me let me align it very well to be sure that it's in the center. And the next thing is a uh, label. Press my label, comment, no, not uh, illustration. This. I'm going to say pick what you see here. Since we are linking this name, let's link this one here. Yeah? It's so it's it's um, let's go center right and then um, good to go. Now there are a few things that you need to do. Yeah, let's put it white. Let's put white. Then let's choose this color to reflect this. Is it the same color with this? Let's make it uh, bold. Here again, let's change the color to reflect this. Can we make it bold? Great. So here, I don't like the outline I'm seeing. Let me remove the outline. Shape outline is gone. We can apply a bevel. We just want to do some little. Can we do something like this? Here you go. All right, so uh, when this is, uh, let's say 67, it changes and the value changes. So this is um, one way you can represent this using your progress chart. All right, so having achieved this, we need to create this from this pivot table so that we can make it interactive and dynamic. What I mean by that is, you see right now we can only manually change this. So if we decide that we want to show any of these courses and their corresponding achievement, we can do that using a filter uh, tool. So um, we'll quickly uh, let me shift this. Uh, 
I'm going to create a new one right now using the data. Remember, we need to go here and start. Uh, do not change. Twenty. Twenty. So. Right now, let me choose a different. So, I haven't done this. And then right now, I want to select here. I'm going to insert. And then make now I need to change this. Let's say B farm and whenever we have hundred, let's shift it so that we get a value there. So that B, B uh, MBBS and this. Let's see what we have. Let me get hundred percent. Hundred percent admission achievement. Admission. All right. So here, okay. So here we have hundred percent. So um, let's just change this to one. As we have hundred percent. Supposed to it, so let's just again. We have three of them. Beef. So um, all we need to do is to. This so yeah. Okay. So um, we have this. We'll be able to get value. So we are going to select this again over here. This is B farm. this on the secondary axis so we have this now this blue is the score particular one we did not reduce the, the hole they reduce the hole let's see what we can do here we need to have a solid field and that solid field let's put it white and then let's get our transparency okay doesn't really matter how you uh, what percentage but just that appears good so here for the border Sorry, no line. And then, good, we are good to go. Then, let's see what we have here. Do not size. Let's see if this will affect the entire or just that. Oh, so. That. And then. So. 
Well, we left that. Okay. to come over here. So, um, having done this, let's begin to insert. I'm actually going to ask you to pick the values here. Right now, I'm going to apply no fill sheet. No fill. No, but no. Let's do the same thing here. Okay. No fill. No. All right. So we can simply now increase this. Okay. Let's expand this. Let's expand this. Get 100 there, it can still go in. All right, so this and this is good to go. Let's centralize. Now, the next thing is to we know that this data is for whatever we can see here. This value. We see here corresponds to the rule here. This here, so we want this. Let's do this area. You can choose any one you want. We go to format, let's apply some shape. Right. Let's say before we choose the other one, the other side. Here we go. Now this is green. Let's make this green and white. Next fill, let's give it white. Then let's fill the shape with uh, green. Then let's put this one to green. That's my format. Uh, okay, so here we have green also. All right, and uh, do we have any listing here? Uh, all right. So all we need to do now is to find this to come to the center. Having done this, let me group all of them. So the next thing for us to do, the next thing for us to do is to start our slicer and layering. Choose this one, it's showing different. We choose this one. Is showing MBA and MBBS, MBBS here 89%, 89%, MPA, MPA changes here 99%, 99%. What about this? Get this. All right, so this is how to make your um, board dashboard interactive and dynamic. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see how we can now insert the next special chart, that is that thermometer chart. So I'm going to select this. This is my pivot table. Right here to work. And let's look at the... So we're looking at admission. Um, Achievement. The target will now be on. So we are going to bring our payment as 100%. So let's okay. Do we have target? We are going to get a new one. 
which is paid a paid target is is equals to get my paid what we are now looking at is now Many of them. Let me bring back this my field. I need to place this one over here. It doesn't really matter. So shift this one up. Do we have that there? Shift this up. This is our target. So we have this. So let me deactivate this back again. Now I'm going to use this. This is my B farm. This is my target. So let me just get from here to here. This is my target. This is my achievement. All right. So let's go ahead and start. So let we are inserting our column um, bar charts and then we are now going to first of all we need to deal with this first item so um, let's pick a course here let's pick this one great so we can now remove all this our feeds now let me see if these are present in a select data do we have okay good we have Two series here if we didn't have two series here if this were here and this were here would we'll switch but right now we have two series here it's good to go so and uh, what we need to do is now let's get this field this is our target paid target let's make it hollow let's have no field then uh, let's put line uh, solid line ordering it and because we want to use pink yes let's go ahead and use pink click outside yes giving us that here we're also going to get um, we have a solid feel with something like this and then no line all right so we want this to be inside this is the one that is moving remember we are looking at a chart that you cannot exceed your target so with this thermometer the maximum is 100 it cannot exceed that so what we need to do is now to click um, this we need to overlap the two of them now I'm going to show you two different things that happen with this see what's going to happen when I shift this this way it's expanding and it is uh, shifting then if I shift this one this way they are also not expanding but the distance between the two of them are moving so what we need to do is we need to carry this one and put right inside here that is telling this to overlap by 100 percent and it goes there now the entire width of each of them this is the gap width so if we close this we are closing it close that closing it all right so we have come to this point whatever we see here uh, as our this is the target this is this is the uh, achievement for B farm all right so we need to let me put this my legend put the legend on the bottom of this then let me remove my grid lines okay so um, this is sorry this is our target our axis let's see what we can do on the Access, access option and uh, the maximum let it be here is that so it is done you know this is now corresponding to the 93 percent compared to this so now the next thing i want to do i just want to do Right, so we don't need this legend actually 
play one figure. So let me remove this. Then talk of eyes. What about the line? Yes, you can see the line. It's rectangle. So let me remove the line. Good, it's gone. Now the next thing I need to do here, I think uh, let's delete this. So what I need to do is now insert the page. Change this color to pink. Fine, right sides. So this is what we have, and uh, let me need to align the two of them. Here, need it to give us the value here. So connect this to this. Choose white, can't we? Um, uh, let's go to font. So, next thing we need to do is, um, because we cannot link more than one cell here, we can we just see what we can use to introduce the cost so that the cost is also showing there let's see this if we bring this over here don't worry, don't worry. let's see what we can do okay let's, i just want to let's see here good all right so let's make it uh, okay first of all let's And we now insert for courses. We do this MBA is showing MBBS is eighty nine scores. MBA is hundred percent. MPH is seventy eight percent and it's showing. So this is another way you can create a special chart to represent your achievement as long as they do not exceed their the unexceedable targets. Alright, so like I've said earlier, you can uh, refer to a previous video, a previous video we did on uh, speedometer gauge for the last special chart that you can use for targets you cannot exceed your uh, target, your achievement command exceed your target. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this series. Looking forward to more of this as we come our way.